Hello everyone, and welcome to the best Hollow Knight challenge of all time. Um, I've been given a list of rules by someone that you might know, and I basically have to follow all these during the playthrough, so... Here is the list of rules, there's a lot of them. There's 57 actually, and I'm gonna basically have to do all of these while I'm playing the game. I must follow all the presets. Alright, so we're gonna start it off with the first precept, of course. Precept 1, always win your battles. And if we're always winning our battles, then why not just play on Steel Soul? In Wilds Beyond. Okay, none of this is important. There's like lore and all this stuff, but remember everyone, Precept 50, don't linger on mysteries. Skip the frickin' cutscene. Hello. <laughs> it is me. The Great Mighty Zote. The person I was talking about who wrote the rules, it was actually me all along. Alright everyone, important precept here. Uh, this one's going to be important for the whole game actually. Precept 35, up is up, down is down. It's pretty important. Remember that one. Also, if you've been paying attention, precept 50, don't linger on mysteries, get that out of here. So we have arrived at a lifeblood cocoon. And I think now is an important time to talk about Precept 27. Eat as much as you can. You don't want to get hungry. Also, you may have noticed me doing a softball maneuver there. That's another important precept, actually. Precept 38. Beware the mysterious force. That being gravity. I guess down is down. See, chat, you're, you're picking up on the, on the rules here. Alright, so there appears to be an elderly figure here, who I have the opportunity to just ignore, right? But we have to we have to consult the precepts for this. Precept 14. Respect your superiors. If someone is your superior in strength, or intellect, or both, you need to show them respect. Don't ignore or laugh at them. Alright, we have made the correct choice. Also an important time for Precept 3, always be rested. Gotta make sure you take long breaks, and don't wear yourself out. Anyways, we must head onwards. So I think now is an important time to mention a couple uh, precepts that'll be important to this, this goal here. The first one is Precept 6, choose your own fate. Now this game might have some things that characters want me to do, that characters have like some plan for me, but we're just going to ignore all of that. We're going to make our own goal here. It's also important, Precept 40, to obey no law but your own. We're going to think of what we're doing here ourselves. Now I think the best goal here is to simply become the best at combat and find glory and victory. So we're going to seek that out. I don't know where that is in this, in this world, but that's all I care about. We want the glory. Oh, there's, there's someone here. Mysteries. Don't linger on mysteries, Quirrell. You do so love a mystery. He's too far gone. Another uh, important precept to think about in regards to, like, creating my own goal and stuff uh, is precept 53. Do not steal the desires of others. For example, Quirrell over there seems to want to solve the mystery, but we all know that is a lame desire, and it should be ignored. Alright, what's this guy over here? A map? Well, I don't have enough money, but remember Precept 46? Uh, the world is smaller than you think. I don't think a map would really be useful anyways. Alright, we're coming across an aspid here. I feel like I can figure something out here. Uh, Precept 47 mentions make your own weapon, so we're going to attempt to create our own weapon in this arena here. Let's see if we can do it. Frick! I'm going to redo it. <laughs> Am I in V-Sync? Oh my god. Alright, we just got to line this up here, and then shoot it! <laughs> Precept 58. Always turn off V-Sync. You know, maybe I should... It's, it's easier to just do the second one. Maybe I should just ignore the first one. 
You absolute prick. Alright. Make your own weapon. Easy as that. I've made my own weapon. I consider this a success. Tool machine. Insert geo. Well, there's an important precept we have to consult here. Precept 42. Spend geo when you have it. Gotta make sure I spend this geo here. It's a bad idea to save your money up. Always stay rested! Hmm. There appears to be some kind of creature in a jar. I think uh, what we have to do is consult the precepts. Okay, I think I found a good one here. Precept 51. Nothing is harmless. Given the chance, everything in this world will hurt you. Friends, foes, monsters, even paths. Be suspicious of them all. You think I'm going to trust this grub? It will it will just backstab me the moment I open the, the, the jar. It's just trying to trick me into thinking it's cute and freeing it. We must leave. A lot of these... Listen, we're, we're following Zote's rules. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of unpopular things. Besides talking to Elderbug. I mean, like, that's pretty evil, though, in my opinion. Oh my gosh, a giant enemy! We must consult the precepts on how to defeat this enemy here. Some important ones for battles that you're unsure about are precept 23, 24, and 25. First, we must identify the foe's weak point. Let's try smacking him a bit and see if we can figure it out. Hmm. I think the weak point is the back. All right, it appears we chose the wrong weak point. Let's try the face. Weak point discovered. Once you identify the foe's weak point, you strike. You also must protect your own weak point. Which is what I'm doing now, which I wasn't really doing very well at the start of the fight, but... We can ignore that. Ah! My weak point. <laughs> my entire body. Alright, I think... We may have completed this fight here. We may have always won our victories. Strike the weak point. All glory to Zo. Oh, always stay rested. That was a close one. I was violently attacked by this... the snail. This is why you should trust no one. Precept, uh... Is that a pre- that's- that's not a precept. But it's a law. it goes along with the precepts rules and ideals. Remember that. Precept 59, always get good RNG. You trapped me in here. How dare you. We will never speak again, because as the precepts say, Precept 43, never forgive. I'm not forgiving you for locking me in there, even though you gave me a spell. No forgiveness. You suck. Stay rested. Oh, it appears this shop is open now. Ah, <sighs> Wayward compass. Hmm. Should I buy this? No, there's a couple precepts. Obviously, spend money when you have to, or when you when you have money. But there's also another one, and that makes this even better of a purchase. And that one is precept twenty nine. Develop your sense of direction. We must buy and equip that, so I know where I'm going. Even though I don't have a map, but don't worry about that. The map would be cheating. The compass, though, that's required. Another battle won. Such is the way of Zoked. I wasn't trying that trick. I wasn't even trying. That was not an attempt. That doesn't. I. I wasn't. If you. If you try, it, succeed. But I. Do, I wasn't trying. What's that noise? They sound. Very brave and attractive. Hmm. I need to consult the precepts here. Precept 26. Don't trust your reflection. They do seem to be somewhat of my reflection, don't they? I will simply not trust them and leave them to die. Who's this? I can take them. Always win your battles. You're about to fail that one. Find the weak point. 
strike the weak point. The weak point is your face. <laughs> See, if ever, if all these other characters just followed the 57 precepts, maybe they'd stand a chance. Sarema. An arena? That sounds like the perfect place to go. For glory. Now, there's a precept we have to talk about here, because we have some water that perhaps we can drink. But you gotta remember, precept 39. Eat quickly, and drink slowly. Don't drink too fast. You gotta drink a little bit at a time. It's just the rule of the precepts. Don't question it. The cloak is getting wet! You are right! Precept 12, keep your cloak dry. If your cloak gets wet, dry it as soon as you can. This is a good strategy I invented. You jump up and down like crazy. Move left and right. Yes, this is a strat called the zoomies. Let's go check what's over here. Oh, stay rested. Stay rested. So you're not telling me what you have. You're just saying something nice and you want my money. Well, I always got to spend my money. God damn it. I can afford this. I need to buy it. <laughs> I have my eyes on this one, though. This sounds like a good charm, and here's why. Precept 5, strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter, simply overcome their strength with even more strength. And they'll soon be defeated. I think I gotta save up for this one. But for now, I guess we're using this. <laughs> hmm, who's that? Perhaps a potential companion? Let's consult, you guessed it, the precepts. Precept 8. Travel alone. You can rely on nobody. And nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. I don't need companionship. I simply need glory. But <laughs> Breda is your love. Not in this timeline. You think Zot loves Breda? Breda Zot doesn't give a crap. Zot just wants to talk about how awesome he is. Down is down! Okay, this was unfortunate. I did not know that was there. And now we're in a very dirty place. You don't want to be in dirty places for too long because of Precept 31. Disease lives inside of dirt. We need to get out of this place and spend as least time possible. Oh, close one. I almost got my cloak wet again. God damn it. I drink, I drank fast too. Hold on, I must expel the liquids and dry my cloak. Hold on, let's check in here. Oh, this is an important precept. Actually, I must turn away. Precept 28. Don't peer into the darkness. We must stay away from there. Ah, this, this is a weird feeling, being in this room. I feel as though something has been lost. Ah, don't linger on mysteries. Oh, a bench! I must stay rested. God damn it. I don't want to stay rested. I have to walk all the way out of here now. Frick. I mean, oh, good thing I can stay rested here. Ah yes, you are also following the always stay rested precept. Good work. <laughs> oh, it's that, like, that weirdo from earlier. Get splashed, weird person. Hmm, what's over here? A statue? Precept 49. Everyone. Statues are meaningless. Do not honor them. The statue is garbage. But I actually want to go this way. Precept 63 Among Us. Hmm. A nailsmith. We must respect the nailsmith, as they are very skilled. It appears I can afford this, so I must spend my money. But there's another precept that we also can satisfy here. Precept 10, keep your weapon sharp. And what is my weapon right now? I think it feels kind of old and worn out. We need to keep it sharp. Sharpened nail, there we go. Honestly, I feel like this weapon has kind of been improved, so maybe we should uh, actually rename our weapon as well. Because precept 32, names have power. I think my, I think, we need to upgrade the name of Life Ender to be even better. 
I'm gonna call it Life Blender. Get over here, fly. Oh, you see how good this weapon is now, right, chat? Because we just satisfied another precept. One foe, one blow. Precept 15. This is why you keep your weapon sharp. It's all connected. My cloak is getting wet from the rain. Oh, wait, did I fall in water too? Whatever. I'm gonna dry off my cloak now. Oh, it's still dripping on me. Hold on, I need to hide over here. Wait, is it dripping in your shop? It's dripping like here! This is a dangerous land. My cloak is under constant assault by the waters. This character is willing to buy some objects I have for money. But is this okay? We need to consult the precepts. Is there someone you forgot to ask? The 57 precepts are the someone. Precept 37. Borrow, but do not lend. Hmm. I don't think this is lending. This is selling. This is allowed. But if someone ever asks me to, like, lend money, we'll have to deny that. What is this, another one of those creatures? They're everywhere. They must be planning some kind of attack. I hope no one ever lets them out of their jars, or there's going to be a lot of trouble. We are playing this game the way it was meant to be played. This character seems quite egg-like, don't they? Well, there is an important precept about eggs that we know. Egg shells are brittle! The only, like, thing that's not very Zote-like is me actually killing everything quickly and being good at the game. And there we go. The eggshell has cracked. I'm gonna have to remember down is down to use this spell. Oh no, water. Avoid the water! We did it. My cloak is still kind of wet though because of the freaking rain. Oh, always stay rested. Always spend your geo. Alright, what's over here? What is this? Some kind of magical barrier? I've been trapped. I have no choice but to read this. It's okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. I have no idea what anyone's saying. Blah, 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 blah. What are you saying? I don't know. Can't hear you. Where have I been placed? Oh no. Is this a dream? I need to get out of here. Precept 56. Do not dream. I've been placed in a dream against my will. I need to get out of here. Yes, what a terrible fate to be put in a dream. Dreams are dangerous things. This is what happens in dreams! Your body gets morphed. I'm out of here. I'm not entering any more dreams after that. No entering dreams at all. Stay rested though. Huh, there's some like... structure over here? What could be in here? Deliver gift to her grave. Hmm. I need to consult the precepts. Precept 30, everyone. Precept 30. Never accept a promise. I don't accept. Ugh, a lake. A huge, deep lake. This is the worst thing that could happen. Now, it's important to remember Precept 44. You cannot breathe water. So everyone, you're gonna have to hold your breath while I'm swimming here. And I will as well. Alright. Alright, we made it. <laughs> Good job, chat. Is that laughing I hear? Important precept. Precept 2, never let them laugh at you. No laughing allowed. Well, I kind of have to spend my money, don't I? Spend money when you have it, you don't want to have too much money. Okay, I think I'm safe to turn on music, right? Let's see. Am I out of range from the laughing? I think so. This appears to be some kind of mother. Now there is a precept about mothers. Precept 11. Mothers will always betray you. 
Don't trust this mother right here. And you know the fight's not over yet, because... As we know in the precept, we should not trust. Look at that, that was a betrayal right there. We won the fight honorably, and the mother still had an attack ready. Yes, the arena, where is it? Tell me where the arena is! He's hopeless. I'll find it myself. Oh, there's a character down here. They seem lovely. But remember... Nothing is harmless. Hmm. Some kind of, uh... Salt lamp? What is this? Actually, I believe this is an enemy. But they're asleep. They're being well rested, that's, that's good. But maybe we can take advantage of this. Precept 33. Show the enemy no respect. Being gallant to your enemies is no virtue. If someone opposes you, they don't deserve respect, or kindness, or mercy. I think the best way to take care of this... ...is through cheese! We'll dispose of them in their sleep. No virtue. Simply win your battles. Hmm. So I, I, I seem to get have gotten a key. Shopkeeper's key. I'm not sure what this is for, though. But I think there is a precept about keys, actually. Precept 54. If you lock something away, keep the key. I think we're going to have to hold on to this one. Not that I know what it's for, anyways. Beat strength with strength, let's go! We'll get this- get this shaman stone off. That's not- that's not a good charm. We need to beat strength with strength. You know, this place is kind of starting to feel like a home to me, I'll be honest. But we have a precept about homes. Precept 9. Keep your home tidy. We're gonna go trim the lawn. I think there's some more over here, though. Make sure I get all of the grass very tidy, very clean. There, I missed one of the grass blades. We're good now. That was a very strange looking grass, don't you think? Ah, huh, what's over here? A house of some kind? Stay rested. Hmm. Is this... My dad? <laughs> Precept 52. Beware the jealousy of fathers. Should I learn this? Or should I beware? I think I have to leave. I must beware the jealousy of fathers. He's stronger than me. Hmm. Interesting. No, I'm stronger than all. Respect your superiors. But I respected Elderbug. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna be wary. We're gonna learn the nail arts. From my dad. And then there's a very important precept we have to follow here as well. Precept 55! Bow to no one! Stay rested. Hmm. Strange place. Wait a second. Is that fire? Precept 48, be careful with fire. I'm gonna be so careful, I'm just gonna leave. Ah, who's this here? Oh, Bakura Finerdo! Banker. You want me to lend... Lend you my Geo? Precept 37, everyone. That's a scam. Waiting to happen. Huh. You know, this would normally be... A point where... You can't pass any further, right? Not for... So, the Mighty, though. If you try, succeed. On the first try. More darkness. Don't peer into the darkness. But there is another thing about darkness that may seem like a contradiction, but it truly isn't if you think about it. Precept 18. Seek truth in the darkness. Now this can be achieved by just blindly running through the dark, but not peering into it. So we're going to seek truth in the darkness. Just make sure you don't peer into the darkness. That's completely different, and that would be against the, the law of Zope. 
A distant village. Yes, yeah, stay rested, I know. But there might be something more important here. There might be something that will cancel this out, actually. Precept 41, everyone. Learn to detect lies. Do I think they're lying? Is there anything suspicious about these individuals? You know what? This bench has web on it. If you look close enough, it's not even a real bench. Precept 45, one thing is not another. I'll go rest, but not here. Let's go check in on that friend from earlier. I wonder if they're doing well. They're attacking me! Don't hesitate! Don't hesitate, do not mourn the dead. It was self-defense. Chat is breaking the rules. Ban every member who's mourning Myla. <laughs> ah. These enemies are horrible. Remember everyone, Precept 20, speak only the truth. And the truth is... That these enemies are freaking pricks. Alright, I wonder if I can find that arena that was mentioned earlier. I have a feeling the reigning bodies of warriors might be a good clue on where to go. Is this it? The arena! Time to claim all the glory and complete every precept. It's time. Precept 17, everyone believe in your strength. Protect your weak point. Strike the foe's weak point. Every precept is equally as important as the other. If you follow them in your everyday life, your life will greatly improve, and you will find glory yourself. Strength beats strength, yep. One foe, one blow. But only sometimes when it's doable. <laughs> At this point, I'm just reciting all the precepts. So that's all I need to do. This is not only a guide for how to play Hollow Knight, but also for how to win at life. Alright, what is the final boss of this place? Oh no! Mothers! I don't know if I could take on the mothers. Don't trust mothers. They'll betray you. The ultimate challenge. All the glory to Zote! I have won! I'm the most powerful creature in all of Hollow Nest. I've achieved glory. I've beaten the entire Colosseum. There's nothing further than this. I win. And now we rest. As we all know, everyone, Precept 19, if you try, succeed. I've achieved that. And Precept 57, obey all precepts. We've completed the challenge. But that was just a silly idea I had, and I wrote out this whole route and, like, tried to find a way to get every precept in-game in some way. I, I had to stretch a bit to be able to do all of them, because some of them, like, contradict each other and don't really make sense in a game setting. But I think I did my best. If you try, succeed. If you try, succeed! <laughs> First try.